off, businesses are bracing for a business blitz. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney joins us from Greektown, where small business owners are hoping to score with new customers. Right now it's business as usual here in Greektown, but in a few days time this entire area is going to transform for the NFL draft. The neighborhood is hopeful to show off some of the businesses that have been in this neighborhood for decades. With 10 days on the clock. It's spectacular because I've been here since I was about 11 years old and it's just great to see and I know that it's going to bring the business in. The electric energy for the NFL draft is building in the city of Detroit. Oh, it's definitely nice to see that such a big event is coming to Detroit. You know, a lot of people do sleep on Detroit, so this is huge to see. I'm really excited to check out the NFL experience, the 40-yard dash, the, the vertical jumps. But no one is more excited than Belinda Beard. Or as her customers call her, the egg roll diva. Yeah, we start with all the prep. Um, we get to our location, and we usually have lines. We usually sell out at locations. Some of our favorite egg rolls are like the cheeseburger, corned beef, crab rangoon. Beard is one of several dozen local businesses set to take part in a three-day-long tailgate in Greektown. A lot of supply, a lot of ordering, getting stuff ready, getting prepped, getting my team prepared, mentally, emotionally, be ready for the like physical labor. The tailgate is free to attend and will run each day of the draft from noon to midnight. We're going to have 19 bands, 12 DJs, an MC will be streaming the draft. We'll have multiple bars, games, food trucks. Melanie Markowitz with the Greektown Neighborhood Park Partnership says visitors will also find tent parties at the Old Shillelagh and the Firebird Tavern, a chance to show visitors all Detroit has to offer. So I'm excited because it's such an opportunity for a small business like mine. I mean, we wait for thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to come to the city, so I'm ready. I'm there. In Detroit, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News.